Hi everyone and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to get art commissions. So I asked on my Instagram what videos you would find useful and a few people said they'd be interested in tips of how to start out on getting art commissions. So I'm just going to give you some tips here and hopefully you'll find some of these helpful. So my number one tip would be to post consistently on social media which is kind of obvious really but you can post on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, anything. So I started off on Facebook at first and I did gain, I gained most of my commissions from Facebook and I share my posts um, of my pet portraits and stuff onto local pages. So I have quite a lot of local people who come and collect the portrait from me. And I also do have quite a few that um, I send to other countries or other places within the UK but yeah sharing your artwork onto some other pages like local pages or even some pet pages some pet pages don't let you post art or advertising or anything like that on there but if they don't allow advertising you could just post a drawing of a dog that you've drawn and say oh this is my recent drawing let me know what you think or something like that and then you might get people message you and say oh do you do pet portraits or that kind of thing or yeah, if you don't do pet portraits, then you can post on other pages that are relevant to your type of art. Um, like if you do landscapes of the beach, for example, you can post on some beach pages. I'm sure there'll be something like that on Facebook somewhere. And then on Instagram, I also started posting on Instagram really early on. Um, I just post, I tried to post like most days. So I just post progress pictures of my drawings. You don't have to just post the finished piece. You can post... Um, progress pictures as you go which I think people quite like seeing because they can see the progress each day of what you're what you're working on which is quite nice and there's also TikTok which I know is obviously a really popular app at the moment I don't use TikTok too much I have posted on there a few times but I struggle to keep up with it with everything else as well but um, it is an option so I know some people who have done really well from TikTok and got some lots of commissions from TikTok so it's worth posting some of your art progress and your like some art tips or anything just post on TikTok as well because it's quite a good way to get especially for a younger audience another tip is if you do craft fairs and you sell other bits and pieces that you make or draw or prints of your artwork or anything like that put a poster or a stand up saying that you do commissions and have some business cards you can talk to people and let them know that yes you take commissions you can give them an idea of your prices and you can just get talking to people at craft fairs and things like that that's quite a good idea and just have business cards on hand that you can give them with an email address or your social media social the or your social media pages on and that kind of thing that's also something a good way of getting customers um, also, if you sell on Etsy, for example, so like you sell art prints on Etsy or other merchandise with your art on or you just have an Etsy account, you could always put a little leaflet inside each package that you send out saying about your commission information and saying that you do commissions. So in each of my Etsy parcels, or not all of them, but most of them, I put in a little leaflet thing which says... Oh, um, it's got a picture of my pet port, one of my pet portraits on the back, and it says, "Oh, for more information on pet portraits, please visit my website at blah blah blah." Thank you for your order. Oh my gosh, the cats have just come over. Please go away, please. I'm trying to film here. Please go away. Yeah, so just put that in the parcel because then the people on Etsy also will then see that you do commissions as well, which is also just a good way of getting people to see that that's what you do. Another thing would be maybe to make some posters, whether they're like little A5 posters or just business cards or anything, and take them into some local dog groomers if you do pet portraits. Um, or if you if you don't do pet portraits, for example, take um, business cards into just some local places that might take them in, hand them out, or anywhere that will maybe display a poster on their window or something like that and then it obviously it just gets more people seeing that you do commissions and people seeing your art and just gets your name out there a little bit more. Another tip would be to always when you post on social media try and take the clearest photos of your art that you possibly can so make sure there's got really good lighting natural lighting is usually the best and that shows the true colors of your artwork 
just yeah really good quality photos that do your artwork justice because if you're posting pictures of your art in dim light it's not going to look as appealing as it would if you did it in bright natural light yeah so just yeah take pictures and post pictures that are really good quality and show your art to its true what it actually looks like and makes it look good the photos can make all the difference it just looks more appealing to people if the photos look good another thing would be when you price your artwork um if you're first starting with commissions start at a slightly lower price you don't necessarily have to do it super cheap like 10 20 pounds you don't have to do it that cheap just maybe not as expensive the prices shouldn't be as high as would be your end goal for example because and you need to build up your portfolio build up a customer base and then you can slowly increase your prices as you go so I started off my prices at a reasonable price they weren't like it was worth my time still but the prices weren't as high as mine are now and then I just slowly increased them each year I'd add like 10% on or something or if I was fully booked for a few months I'd add a little bit of a price increase onto my pet portrait prices and I th yeah I think just to get some customers maybe just start slightly lower but obviously don't do it too cheap that it's not worth your time because that's yeah not really worth it but also maybe even run a competition for someone to win a free commission so if you did a pet port do pet portraits for example you could run a um, competition on Instagram or Facebook where people send you um, a picture of their pet and then tag two friends for example which obviously would get more people interested in your post and your art and then you have a winner who wins a free pet portrait and it just is more like a way to gain more interest and gain more p customers and getting people to see your art more so that's just um another tip and another tip I have is it's a good idea to have your price list clearly stated because not everybody likes to ask people don't always like to ask in case it's too expensive and then they it's kind of awkward and they're like oh okay yeah no it's just a little bit more awkward so it's quite good to have your price list clearly stated whether it's on um your Facebook post or whatever you could put prices start from blah 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 or something or if you have a website have your price list on there or on Instagram again on your post maybe just put prices start from so and so um yeah just have them somewhere just so that people who don't want to ask can see what your prices are and also your prices should represent like the quality of your artwork as well so if your prices are medium people will expect medium quality art whereas if your prices are really really high people may expect the best quality artwork and materials and that kind of thing so do your pricing based on also the materials you use the price of your materials the price of the paper the quality of the paper and everything and obviously as you as your art skills improve and you gain more customers you can increase your prices but yeah just make sure the prices are clearly stated somewhere and my final tip for this video is to make sure that the customers know what to expect so when you're posting examples of commissions or examples of your artwork if you have loads of different art styles people may not know what to expect when they commission you they don't not necessarily going to know what art style they're going to expect whereas if your artwork's quite consistent so with my pet portraits I have like quite an obvious style people know exactly what to expect and when people ask you questions just make sure you tell them exactly what they're going to get for their money and yeah just so people know what to expect because if people aren't too sure then they're probably not going to commission you because they want to know exactly what they're paying for but yeah that's just a few tips and um, i hope you found this video helpful and i am going to do a part two to this video which will be letting you know some tips of when you get commissions how to like how to take deposits how to stay organized and things like that um so yeah please subscribe if you want to see the next video or if you liked um if you found it helpful please like the video because it really helps my channel out and hopefully i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye guys